Well, chances are you probably saw that thumbnail and were like, who the hell is that, if you are unfamiliar with it? But uh, for those who are aware, I'm sure you are, well, knowing what's coming. And for some reason they didn't announce it? I, I really don't understand it. But either way, it's time to take a look at our two new characters as well as the GHB unit you're going to be getting for free. Isn't this great? So, as always, when it comes to stats and everything found, we need to thank our data miners over on Game Press. Thank you, Kaz, Kiri, Giri, Zanik, Naz, CC, Zero Fire, and Mopop, as always. You can check that out in the description for all of your lovely, lovely looksies and just see what's there, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, just talking about stats as well as your new character that you're getting for free. And, uh, well, let's just talk about what's going on. So let's pull up all these stats. And, uh, well... <laughs> I'm sure you can already guess who the new uh, free unit is, our GHB unit, of course. Thank you, Xanik, for all of these stats, as always. Let's go over everything real quick when it comes to these characters. So first up, Ilgar. Now, Ilgar is, well, she has surprisingly fast uh, speeds, honestly. That makes a lot of sense, considering not only her weapon, but also because of the effect of the weapon and things like that. I mean, she's going to have a natural 41 speed without a boon, so that's pretty intense, honestly. That's actually a really great skill setup. Of course, she does not have the defense or resistance to really handle herself too much outside of that. She seems to be one built around trying to attack, 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 and maybe debuff a bit more there. Honestly, not too bad for a uh, dagger unit. I'm really interested in how she's going to work out in the long run. But the big one, the big boy himself, we need to talk about Surtur, okay, guys? We need to talk about what Surtur has that is so incredibly annoying, all right? <laughs> so first up, 39 attack is, well, it's, it's high enough to be annoying, that's for damn sure. He also has 50 health, which, uh, okay, sure. We also have 40 defense and 33 res, essentially making Surtur into something intense, um... I also need to mention that he has a, at least according to Naz, who just wrote this down here, by the way, he has a super boon in attack and defense. So if you happen to get any of those for him, he's going to get an additional buff to those two stats. Great, just what we needed. Um, honestly, he has exactly what the stat line is. According to the BST math that I did a little bit earlier, he has 179 BST in total, making him... Nearly up there with both Mer and um, Legendary Tiki. So I'm, of course, talking about Halloween Mer, by the way. Uh, so all in all, his skill setup with his axe and his C skill and, you know, of course, steady stance for for some reason really makes him out to be this mind boggling monster of a creature. So if you can't kill him within that round that you need to, he is going to hit you hard, he's going to debuff you, and then he'll most likely kill you afterwards as well with those stats. So, it's going to be a really hard one, unless you happen to have Triangle Adapter or something like that. I'm sure Roy might try and take him on pretty hard, but let's talk about the other character in the room, shall we? So, we're getting some love for Shadow Dragon, it seems, and Garnif is coming out as your next free unit from his GHB. Yep, that's right. And, uh, well... He does have, he's breaking a tradition that a lot of the other free red tome units have had for quite some time. Namely, they were usually all built around resistance or something like that. And well, Garnif actually has a decent amount of attack. Uh, not, not amazing, but decent. 34 speed is actually pretty cool. But when it comes to his other abilities, let's talk about what he has as well. First up, his weapon is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, Imhulu. <laughs> Maybe he's really a, maybe he's a Hulu subscriber, but uh, I know the, the the naming behind that, but I just don't know how to pronounce it. So what it does is it grants plus three res. At the start of turn three, deals five damage to all non-magic foes within five columns centered at this unit, and inflicts a status that prevents counterattacks on those units. So essentially, uh, he's he's made there he's there to just debuff the hell out of anyone who is not magic. Now, just so we're clear, five columns is quite a lot of space. In fact, I'm pretty sure that nearly takes up the entire map if I'm wrong or correct, or I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but that's that's pretty, it's pretty big. It's gonna do a lot of damage and it's going to really mess with some people, but outside of one turn, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. We also, of course, know what his other skills are. He has mirror stance as his A skill, and it seems that his other skill is, in fact, Chill Attack. 
So therefore, he's actually quite nice, uh, at least when it comes to fodder. Um, mirror stance is four stars. Chill attack is five stars. Uh, I guess... I guess, essentially, it seems a lot like he's meant to be kind of like a Takumi, you know, the fallen Takumi in a way. Honestly, I'm more impressed with Surtur when it comes to all of this. Yulgur got off pretty well. Surtur, of course, is the dominant creature in this whole thing. And now we have Garnif, who's going to be our next one. It seems to be reasonably well for a red tome unit. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out, mostly with this tome, but he does have some pretty vital abilities. So there you guys go! Those are your stats, those are your looks into the characters that you're getting! Carniff looks freaking awesome though, I have to say his artwork is really great. But, uh, well, who are you aiming for in this banner, guys? There's a lot more going on there, we have some story spoilers that I will save for when the Xenolog, yep, that's what this is, it's gonna be a Xenolog, comes out later tonight. So, uh, there's all your characters, guys! I'm gonna really have to have a discussion about Surtur because, uh, Jesus Christ, that stat. God. Like, ugh. <laughs> My God. Well, as if I had any other reason to pull for him, really. Good Lord. Okay, guys. Best of luck out there. See you soon. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Maybe check out some of the other things that we do here. And, uh, you know, check that all out. Catch you nerds later. Bye bye